up looking at two digit sums with left to right addition in this video. I mean we may come we may come and revisit it at some point, but I feel like like we really have had quite a bit of practice in this area. So let's look at that. Um, again, the focus is adding two digit numbers like 18 and 17. And instead of adding 8 and 7 first to get 15, right, and then carrying the 1, uh, and then adding the, the two tens to get th and the extra ten to get thirty, we start with the two tens on the left and then move to the right. So the goal in this video again is to move from left, add the the bigger numbers first and then move right. Uh, and there's flexibility here. Uh, it might make more sense in this case just to say, okay, what is eighteen plus seventeen, and then rethink seventeen. Say, oh, what is eighteen plus ten? and then add the 7. So break 17 up into 10 and 7. And that's one strategy to do that. You could say 18 and 10 is 28 plus 7, right, is 35. And think about it that way. Or you can say, oh, what's 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 7? And what did I do there? Well, you can see that 8 and 10 is 18, and 10 and 7 is 17. So I just kind of broke apart and rearranged the numbers to add them in a friendly way. That's another way of thinking about it. Here, 10 and 10, add the two tens first is 20, plus 8 is 28, plus 7 is 35. Again, the, the goal here is to start with the, the largest place value first to always get a sense of the answer. So even if I don't know what 18 and 17 is off the top of my head, I realize, oh, it has to be above 20 because 1 and 1 these two one, these two tens is at least 20. And that's a good sense to have. All right, if we start with the eight and the seven, all we know is that the answer is about 15. And, that, and, and that's not as helpful. And as the numbers get larger, these place values become more and more important. So let's look at some more examples. And we'll get, well, again, again, we have flexibility here. Uh, we don't have to break them up in any particular way, but having that ability really helps. So 55 and 49. Okay, well, what do we do here? Well, I think it makes sense to just say, first of all, what is 55 plus 40 and then add 9? So I broke 49 into 40 and 9. We add 55 and 40 first to get 95 and then add 9 more to get 104. Or we could break it up other ways. We could say, oh, 55 is like 50 and 5 and 49 is like 40 and 9. Let's rearrange these. Add 50 and 40, and then 9 and 5, and combine those two. That's 90 and 14. Gives us, again, 104. The point is, you can break apart these numbers in many ways, but I think, for many of these smaller examples, 55 and 40 is an easy combination, right? Which is what we did right here. And then add the extra 9, so you can break it up. Let's look at one more example of this strategy. Let's just try um, let's try 38 plus 37 and then just for fun I guess we'll have two examples 99 plus 99. So it's 38 and 37. Well I can think of this by breaking apart 37 to say 38 plus 30 and then add an extra 7. Right. So really we're taking this second number and breaking it up going from left to right 38 and 30 is 68, plus 7 is 75. So I, I, I thought about the largest place value first by adding these two 30s, but I kept 38 because I found that to be easy to add 38 and 30, which is what I did right here, and then I added the extra 7. But going from left to right also gives us the flexibility to say, what's 30 and 30? Well, that's 60. Oops, I can't read that. That's 60. And then what's 8 and 7? That's 15. Add those two up, that's 75. Right? That's, that's another way of doing it. Now with 99 uh, plus 99, we can think of this in many different ways. But I think uh, one of my favorite ways to think about this one is to say, what's 90 plus 90? Well, that's 180. Right? Add left first. And then what's 9 and 9? Well, that's 18. Add those two up, we get 198. Or, it might be a little bit more difficult here, you could say what's 99 plus 90, and then add in the extra 9. 99 and 90 is 189. 
plus the extra 9 gives us 198. So when you're doing left to right addition, again, you can just go by the place value, or you can keep one of the numbers fully intact. You can say 99 plus 90. Uh, and either way, I think you'll, you'll enjoy this method because it really encourages mental arithmetic. All right.